Big game, big game. BYU at San Diego State. VR, we're doing this wise guy style. What's your number on the game? I made San Diego State a four-point home favorite. Set the total at 142. This is number one and number two in the Mountain West. <laughs> now, that doesn't excite me, but... Yeah, but we, we're there. they're ranked, these That's teams. what I'm I mean, saying. There's some talent that's what in the I'm Mountain saying. West. They no won't... doubt, no doubt. Now, there's a lot of talk about one of these teams uh, potentially being a number one even... Um, so that's going to be interesting. All right, where do you see the perceived value, or where do you think, not the perceived value, where do you think the number's going to come out that offers value? I think the number's going to come out lower, and because of that, we're going to have some value on the San Diego State side. Let's not forget, BYU supposedly has the NCAA Player of the Year playing for them, you know? And this is going to be a CBS game, afternoon spotlight, and... I just think there's more shine on BYU than there is San Diego State because of the fact BYU's been representing the Mountain West for years now, where San Diego State hasn't proven anything to anybody. So if we assume for a good home court, it's five points. Now, where do you come down on that conversation? Uh, there's an argument that it's a lot less, even. A lot less? How much less? Three, three and a half. Three? I, wait a minute. At Duke, even if it's I, even I think Duke's as high as seven. All right, you so know? that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's a range. You yeah. just made a good point. But I'm saying BYU's got a heck of a home court. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd make them a five, five and a half right around right. there. So your point is maybe both sides are right. Some are three, some are seven. Right. All right, that's interesting. I think your projection on the number is a little high, um, meaning, or a little low. Meaning my true line's what the, the line's going to come out at? I think so. Closer. And again, I'm just guessing, but it's hard to imagine. Because for there to be real, let's talk range right here. Then we can talk why you think San Diego State should be at least favored by four here. Is if you think about it, if, if five is a, let's say five is the home court for even teams with San Diego State, you're saying that BYU is one point better. Correct. Even though you seem to like San Diego State a lot. So that feels right to you, BYU being slightly better? I think San Diego State, believe it or not, is the better team. I think, the, why market, is number I only think four? the market believes that BYU oh, but, is the better agreed. team. Agreed, and that's why you think there's a perceived value. But in your true line, you're saying minus four. So how do you think San Diego State's better, but they're at home minus four? Should I they lowered be six? Their, no, they're home court. I don't think they're a five. What do you I wouldn't about? give San Diego State a five because of the reason, again, they haven't proven anything yet. They, they played the best team in the Mountain West but, already, and they lost to But that doesn't have anything to do with their home court. That has to, historically, oh. historically, they haven't done enough, I think, to, to warrant a five-point home court but, edge. But it's not three and a half, is it? Some may argue it's even three. All right, interesting. You know, if you look at, I've not even mentioned names, but but the guys that are respected for their power ratings, I've seen a lot using three now, three and a half um, for, for San a Diego's, lot of teams. Yeah. yeah. All right, and you might be, you know, actually I might be falling in a trap here by saying that because San Diego State's a good team, they got a good good home court. But that's not necessarily directly correlated. So you make an interesting point there. I just think that if they bring it out, higher, you're going to get totally one-sided. I think even at if they brought it out at four, I think there's going to be a, a more one-sided towards the BYU side. So I'm hoping they come out lower to try to get some no, balance. But you'd, assuming you need two and a half points, you needed to come out at one and a half. Exactly. Uh, and that's your threshold of playing this game. Yeah. All right, so why do you think San Diego State is at least as good, if not better? I, I, I broke down that first meeting. And they had the lead going into the half, which is tough to do at BYU. You know, that, it, and what was the line in that first game? Five and a half. Five BYU. and a half, six it went off. So at that point, they thought BYU was a one-point better team. Exactly. Um, and, and for them to come out the way they did and not be overwhelmed at BYU and take a lead into the half was impressive. But here's what happened. You had Malcolm Thomas, Billy White, both in foul trouble going into the second half. You had guys, one with four fouls, one with three fouls. So they weren't able to be as aggressive. More importantly, BYU changed it up on them. San Diego State's one of those teams that love to play slow. Out of the 320 Division I schools, whatever, uh, in college basketball, Ken Pomeroy has them rated 290 in tempo. So this team doesn't like to run at all. BYU 17th. Okay. okay, so they love to run the court. San Diego State played perfectly in that first half to stop that from happening. 
Second half, what happened, BYU was able to play their style ball. Two key contributors were in foul trouble, and a small lead ended up being a 13-point win for BYU. I think the coming home, home, exactly. Coming home, I think this team's mature enough that they're going to be able to not only slow it down the first half, slow it down for the whole 40 minutes. Okay, so the premium on BYU, you mentioned a little bit that it was because this is the team that's been representing the Mountain West. And there's also the, the Jimmer factor. Yeah, yeah. Which is, explain your thoughts on that. Best player in college basketball. Now Just he's going to, his chance to shine on, on prime time. And you keep seeing him and hearing it on ESPN. And you don't hear anything about this San Diego State team. And So let me play devil's advocate. Go ahead, go ahead, give it to me. Regardless if the, the win was deceivingly uh, big for BYU in the first match, they won the game, and they, they you know, convincingly, if it was 7 or 13 or whatever. What's the same? To me, do you agree, yes or no, do you agree with the following? The, the, a team's ability to beat an inferior team decisively is different than a team's ability to beat a team that's elite. So there's certain teams in all sports that will just dominate bad teams. Right, right. And when they play against peers, truly com competitive teams, they have a lot of trouble. I get San Diego State's had some impressive blowout wins. What's been their marquee victory against really good competition? This Saturday against nah. BYU. But this we're, Saturday we're, against we're 30 BYU. Games in the year. And, yeah, and they're 27-1. and one. And Their only loss was to BYU. And that's what I'm saying. And they're getting zero respect because, the again, they be only made. played BYU and they lost to BYU. Who hasn't lost to BYU at BYU? More importantly... But, you agree, but, but you've, hey, you're a good... Maybe you should go into politics one day. But you're agreeing with me there's not a marquee one on the schedule. No, no, no. You because, do or you don't? No, because of where they play. I can't hear you. Do I you agree. agree? I it. agree. Uh, I agree. But what? What other you're than screaming? And I still other, can't hear you. Other than that, San Diego State <laughs> win. What did BYU do? If you look at their strength of schedule, San Diego State has had a tougher schedule so far. Tougher non-conference schedule so far, as far as the, right? the ratings are. You know, and, and that's but, why. But I let me make another point. First of all, I love the way that you back up your thoughts with numbers, because to me, the gut is nice, but. The eyes lie. The eyes lie. That's true. And and, and your emphasis, your your reliance on the saber, not quite saber metrics, but that next level of stats, I think is great. But let's let me make a subtle point: is maybe BYU's schedule has been tougher, or excuse me, San, San Diego State. State. But let's say the following: let's say BYU played one or two really tough games, and then. San Diego State's played zero, let's say, other than BYU. And then let's say, though, BYU otherwise have played real cupcakes. So if BYU wins those games by 30 or 20, it doesn't really Irrelevant. matter because they're just so much better. So it can just to say, well, they've had the better, uh, you know, San Diego State's had the tougher schedule, that can be deceiving if BYU's played a couple of marquee teams. Now, do you think BYU has any marquee wins other than San Diego State? No, I was looking at their, their, their schedule, even the non-conference, and no. You know, right. I, I, well, I'm not that impressed. I, you, BYU is where you expect them to be. They play in the Mountain West. They're, they're expected to win the Mountain West year in and year out, pretty much. Now, so you know what no I'm interested in there. is Mike Hook is an authority on San Diego State. I'd love to see his opinion. Yeah, well, I'm sure thing. we'll see it on Saturday. I'm Absolutely. sure we'll see it on Saturday. Absolutely. Might have to pay for it. Yeah. But, but it's going to be won't. Oh, wow. I won't. A quick text will get me his insights <laughs> on it, like it did with the Padres all summer. <laughs> all right. Let's think about this. I will agree with one thing you're saying is if it does come out at one and a half, which I don't think it will, you're right. San Diego State really is. In a way, I'm arguing this assuming the line's four it's or four, four and a half. Correct, and if correct. so, I don't think there's any value. And you don't either. Either way, If yeah. it does come out at one and a half, I would agree with you. So in a way, we agree. I just think I'm skeptical that there is I, I'd value. even lay the two. I'd lay the deuce here. I know that's a key number in basketball, many small, believe. Well, small. It's a small difference from a random Yeah, number. yeah. But I, I would go as far as that. Only because that first meeting... I'm telling you, it was so deceiving. San Diego State played as bad as you could play ah. in the second half. When it was all said and done, they shot 35% from the field when it was all said and done. And they still managed yeah, to make, make a game me, of it. Don't make me mute your mind. Are you disagreeing? You know, I can just point is this a, a Is this a agree, neutral, disagree? <laughs> this is going to be a subtle point. I'm going to go right into this camera. 
I'm, wait, I gotta go in. I'm gonna agree, but here's why. I'm agreeing because if it if at your threshold at one and a half, and I'm gonna say one and a half. Okay, about, you yeah. won't even lay. I want two and a half. Won't even lay the yeah, juice. Exactly. Is at one and a half there is value, and so I agree. If but remember, everyone's got to understand. If this baby comes out at four, three and a half, you're not playing. No, no. I'm hoping because it's a prime time televised CBS game. Yeah, you might be that right. they add sprinkle that public perception heavily into this one and don't put out that true number. If they do, we're gonna sit it out. It's your turn to continue the conversation with VR and me. And next up, we doing a Sunday game next or Saturday? Another Saturday, another big one, SEC style. All right, we got one more big Saturday game. We'll be right back.